We've looked briefly at recurring journals before when setting up our general journal templates. A recurring journal is a general journal with additional fields used for managing transactions that we intend to post frequently with minimal or no changes. These can apply to rent, subscriptions, utility bills, etc. With a recurring journal, entries that we post regularly can be entered once along with the peripheral data that we specify. These include accounts, dimensions, dimension values, and so on. Once these have been entered, they will remain in the journal set up as they were even after posting. Any adjustments that may be necessary can be done before posting the next batch of entries. Let's have a look at the recurring general journal, which we can get to by going to the search for page and searching for our recurring general journals. Now that we're on the recurring general journals page, you may notice the a few fields that we do not normally see in regular general journals. The first is the recurring method. This dictates what Business Central will do with the amount on the journal line after it has been posted. The options available from the options available, we have fixed, which is used when the journal amount is the same each period. This results in the amount on the journal line staying as it is after posting. We have variable where the amount is different at each period. Using this, we'll delete the amount on the journal line after the journal has been posted. Balance. With this, the balance on the, of the account line on the line is allocated among accounts that are specified for the line on the allocations page. This means that the balance on the account on the line is set to zero. Reversing fixed, where the amount on the journal line is the same after posting and reversing entries are posted the next day. Reversing variable, where the amount on the journal line is deleted after posting and again, reversing entries are posted the next day. And finally, reversing balance, which operates the same as balance with reversing entries posted the next day. So after selecting this, users will then need to designate a recurring frequency. The, recur the recurring frequency uses date formula to specify how frequently the entry on the journal line will be posted. This is a field that must be populated in order for the recurring journal lines to work. For example, we could enter 1M to post every month from the date of the posting date. If required, users can also set an expiration date, which we can see towards the end here. The, the expiration date field is used to tell Business Central of the last date that the journal will be posted. After this date, the journal will no longer be posted. However, the lines will remain. If necessary, we can extend the exp expiration date to allow for more rounds of posting. An important feature that you can also make use of with recurring journals is the use of parameters in the document number field. Instead of using a number series to specify the document number, we can enter a formula that will be uh, updated automatically each time the journal is posted with relevant data. For example, we can combine text with a value like percent one or through to percent five with each number representing a different value where percent, percent one is the current day number, two is the current week number, three is the current month number, four is the current month name, and five is the current accounting period name. So if we used, for example, R for rent followed by a percent and four, then in the month of January, the value we would actually see when posted would be R January. For recurring journals that contain more than one line, Business Central will keep the same number on the next line automatically until the balance for the journal hits zero and enter the next consecutive number on the next line. We'll look at setting up and using a recurring general journal in our next demonstration.